Hey guys, it's Lauren. Today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone video. So I actually have an iPhone 8 Plus and it's like really old. But I recently got a new case and then a new screensaver. So like to me it feels new. I really don't like long intros. So I'm just gonna get into the video. This is the case. It's just like a clear glitter case. Yeah, it was like $8 on Amazon. So it was like really cheap. And then the screensaver, she's Ooh. so pretty. She used to be a trap queen. She used to belong to the streets. I'm gonna sit on this side of my bed so I can put the screen right here. So this is my wallpaper. I actually made this myself. It's just a collage and it's a bunch of photos that I think are like pretty or like things that I want or like small quotes like do what you love. It's kind of like my vision board but on my phone. When we unlock it, there's two pages of apps. So I'm just gonna go through the first one. I'm also gonna be telling you guys apps that you guys should get. I have a lot of helpful apps that I found and I thought you guys would also want to see so the first page the first app is calendar and I put most of my events down on here it's super helpful it just helps me stay organized the next app is photos and pretty self-explanatory it's just photos and then I have Google photos it's the first app I recommend because if you guys don't have a lot of storage on your phone you could back up your photos in Google photos and it saves all your photos and you could delete them from your actual storage on your phone it doesn't take a lot of storage I don't even think it's one gigabyte of my storage right now next app is notes and I literally write everything down in notes the first folder that I have is essentials so this is just a few apps that are essential for me so magic strip is actually to control my LED lights I don't have a remote for my LED lights so I just have to use this Asana and Manga I'm a part of this internship and those two apps are like the calendar and like notifications and updates for that Yelp is so helpful when you're trying to find like a new restaurant to go to to, or you had like a good or bad experience with the restaurant it helps a lot when you're traveling too because then you'll know where is good or bad to eat the rest of the apps on this folder are just basic apps there's weather maps app store and mail mail I actually use every day I don't really use the weather app so I don't know why it's in essentials okay so next folder is extras here it's just like extra stuff that I like kind of need but I don't really use like bitmoji find my iPhone calculator voice memos blah 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 oh yeah and then I have camera connect and that is the app that I use to send videos from my camera directly to my phone then I have ukulele which helps me tune my ukulele I definitely recommend it if you guys have a ukulele we got follow track which helps me know who I'm following but doesn't follow me back I don't know why but like when there's someone I like know but I'm not like close with them when they unfollow me on Instagram I'm like I don't want to follow them back and then I unfollow them and I know who unfollowed me because of this app. I recommend this app if you want to know too. Next I have Shutterfly, Music, Wallet, Clock, and Files which are literally extras like I barely use those things. And then I have Camera. Hey. Okay wow my hair is a mess. The next app that I have is settings, which is, again, self-explanatory. So before I move on to the next page, I'm just going to explain my wallpaper. So this is actually a photo I took myself in Hawaii. Hawaii was one of the happiest times of my whole life. Like when I think about happy times, I automatically think about Hawaii. So I just wanted to put that as my wallpaper to kind of just remind me of it. And it's also really pretty. Like that is a really pretty picture. And then down here on the dock, I have phone messages and Safari, this order will always stay the same. Like any phone I have, this will be the order. It's super helpful because these are the three apps that I use probably the most. This page is all folders and the first one is every day. Well, every day, but it, you know what I mean. So the first app on here is Eternal Sunshine. I highly recommend this app. I cannot recommend it enough. Once you open it, there are meditations and like morning mindfulness and like daily mantras, which are like quotes. There's just so much. It's super good if you're trying to get more into your mental health or you want to get more into meditation or just spirituality. The next app I have in this folder is Daily Horoscope, which self-explanatory again. Then I have Headspace and that is like a meditation 
meditation app so that's another app if you want to get more into meditation for that one there's only like limited stuff you could do because they have a premium subscription and you have to pay for that then I have Gmail I use Gmail and mail because I have multiple emails I'm able to switch back and forth I have Bible this app is really good if you are a Christian but you want to get more into religion and like your Christianity and kind of just get closer to God then I recommend this they have Bible plans in this app and I've completed eight of them and there's just a bunch of saved ones there's a lot of stuff like discovering purpose the best use of your time this is a super super good app if you're trying to be more religious or get more into it next is sanity and self if you're a girl I definitely recommend this as well it's another mental health app and take off your bra your home that's yep this is another one where you need to pay for a premium membership but there's still free things that you can do on this app and it's really helpful there's meditation journaling self-love next we have reading plan and this is another bible reading plan it has different sections that you read every single day they're all organized in certain ways for the bible to make sense to you and then think up this is a really 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 good app but you have to pay for a subscription but i have a month for free so that's why I'm using it right now what it is is you record your own affirmations and then you could listen to them with music and it doesn't sound like silly like it sounds professional yeah if you are willing to pay for that it's really really good my next folder is entertainment here I have all of my games but I haven't used a lot of them in a while so they kind of deleted themselves but yeah there's just a lot of games and then on the second page I also have stuff like Netflix and Spotify just because I classify those as like entertainment so I kind of wanted to organize my phone more for this video I was gonna color code and like color organize my whole phone but to me that just doesn't make sense because yeah it'll look good but how are you gonna find things like what if you don't know what color it is how are you gonna so the next folder I have is editing. Most of these apps I just have to edit like thumbnails or like certain parts of my videos. The ones I use for my thumbnails are Canva, Magic Eraser, Fonto, and Pixar. And Visco too if I'm editing that. But I mainly use Visco for like my Instagram pictures. And then for videos I use iMovie and Video Star. And yeah, if you guys were ever wondering how I make my thumbnail, these are the apps I use. Then my next folder is money. So in this one I actually have a lot of apps this folder consists of apps that i use to sell clothes to make money stuff that i earn points on and then turn that into money i also have just like chase and bank of america i recommend getting fetch rewards i'll show you guys what it is so basically what it is is you buy stuff and you scan your receipts and every time you scan your receipts you get points but you could turn those points into gift cards i barely use it honestly because i always forget about it and i have almost ten dollars and the fact that i have almost ten dollars from barely doing anything it's basically like free money that's my referral code and i'll put it down in the description if you guys want to use it you get two thousand points if you use my referral code which is equal to two dollars so sounds like a deal to me another app that you guys can make money on is flip so i'll show you guys what it is it's an app where you vote I've been logged out. Okay, well, I have like almost $30 on that, but it's an app where you vote on people's outfits. People will post pictures in like a shirt and then you have to vote on it. And every time you vote on it, you get a certain amount of money. It adds up. All you do is just like click the button. If you drive, I recommend Gas Buddy. This app finds the cheapest gas near you. It sees your location and it sorts the prices of the gas stations around you. It's been so helpful for me, especially when I'm in the middle of nowhere, which I normally am. So, so you just press like find gas and then yeah it helps you the rest is just stuff that i like sell on and like venmo Ooh, but you guys should get vipon it's an app where they have coupons for amazon amazon is already cheap by itself but then this app has just a bunch of coupons you can use this webcam was originally 64 but now it's 16 dollars you can also search stuff too like mirror with lights it's got you my next folder is shopping i don't really use this stuff here that much i mostly just use Starbucks, Dunkin Donuts, and Amazon. The rest is just like stuff I just have. I don't know why. If you guys are one of those people where notifications bother you a lot and like all the red numbers, I'm sorry. I literally, I try to get rid of them. I seriously do, but like I just can't. They just keep reappearing and I can't go through all of that every single day. So 
you're gonna have to bear with me. My next folder is school. It's pretty self-explanatory. Docs, drive, classroom, boring stuff. Also, if you guys don't have the Quizlet app on your phone, literally get it. When you're trying to study last minute and your Quizlet is on your iPad or your Chromebook, you're gonna be screwed. But if you have Quizlet on your phone, you're not screwed. My next folder is socials. This is all just like my social media, Instagram, Facebook, Messenger, Hoop. Hoop is actually really fun. It's just like you meet random people on Snap. That sounds creepy, but if you're bored, why not? And then Pinterest. I love Pinterest. I go on it every single day. Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, and boring stuff. YouTube Studio. I just use that for my analytics. And finally, we are on the last folder, which is health. So here I have LA Fitness, which is the gym I go to, my fitness pal, which tracks my calories, and then Tabata. If you guys are into hit running or hit workouts, I definitely recommend getting it. So it's a timer, and if you don't know what hit workouts are or runs, so you run for a certain period of time and then you walk, or you could sprint and then jog, it's whatever you want. It's at timed intervals, and this app times each interval. You could do a timer for 30 seconds, and you're sprinting for 30 seconds and walking for two minutes. This is like a timer that sorts it all out for you. The next app is Hit Workouts. This is a really, really good app. These workouts are all free. It tells you what to do and it tells you exactly how long it is and how many calories and even like the level, like there's advanced, intermediate. Next I have YMCA because I also go to the YMCA. And then I have Zero, which is an intermittent tracking app. If you guys are intermittent fasting, get that. Yummily, another app I recommend. It has so many recipes on it. Basically, it collects all the recipes online into this app. So if you choose let's go with coconut flour pancakes it shows you all the ingredients and if you don't have them already then you just add it to your shopping list and you go over here yep and it's on your shopping list and you can add from literally any recipe they have so much stuff on here i literally have 83 recipes saved and this is a free app too you don't have to pay for any of it and then my last app in health is the app health i use it to track how many miles i run or walk that's basically all i really use it for i don't really use it for like my heart or like anything else okay so yeah that is what's on my iphone my little trap queen here oh yeah she's cracked on the back too don't don't forget to subscribe to me if you haven't already and yeah i hope you guys stick around to watch my next video